All right, Slim Kids, this one is called No One Like You because there is no one like our awesome God. So wherever you are today, get up on your feet and let's sing this one together. There's no one like him. <laughs> Than anyone ever, every day, you're the same, you never change, no, never. Isn't that awesome? All right, sing that first part again. He's more beautiful. You are more beautiful than anyone ever, every day, you're the same, you never change. Love of my savior, you want to me everything, all I need forever. How could you be so good? There is no one like you. There has never, ever been anyone like you. Everywhere we go, he is there. Sing it with us. Everywhere you are there, but the rest surrounding. I'm not alone, never sing along. I got you so astounding. How could you be so good to me? Eternally, I believe. He's so awesome to us, isn't he? How could you be so good to me? We're not alone, we're with him. We're not alone. So sing along. We're not alone. So sing along. Sing along. Sing along. Time for our God Time devotion for today. We are on our Moment of Truth series, and today we're on day three of week one. So grab your take home papers. If you don't have it handy, you can print it off riverhills.tv. Under the media page, you'll find Slam Kids TV. And then on our media player, on the right hand side, you can find where you can download the take home paper and print it out so we can follow along together. All right, so we're going to read our Bibles again today. And um, we just read out of Proverbs, and we're going to read out of Proverbs again today. So you might remember from our last episode where Proverbs is in your Bible. But if you need to, you can always turn to that table of contents, look in the Old Testament about halfway through, and you can find Proverbs, look over, see what page number it starts on, and turn to that page. All right, so once you find Proverbs, you're going to look up big number 12. That's our chapter number 12. 
All right, and when you find big number 12 inside of chapter 12, you're going to look for, starting with verse 17, little number 17, we're going to read 17, 18, and 19, all right? So if you need another minute to find your Bible verse, just hit pause, play whenever you're ready. All right, we're reading Proverbs 12, verses 17, 18, and 19. Read with me. It says, an honest witness tells the truth, but a dishonest witness tells lies. Thoughtless words cut like a sword, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Truthful words last forever, but lies last only for a moment. Mm. And our theme is moment of truth. But you know what? This says truthful words actually last forever. But your lie, that only lasts for a moment because doesn't most of the time our lies fall apart and don't um, people normally figure out that we're lying? That only lasts for a little while. Or we have to tell another lie to hide the first lie and it's just a big snowball. All right, so let's read our devotion for today. It says, have you ever been caught doing something you weren't supposed to do? And before you knew it, a lie had slipped out and I've been guilty of that. You know, you're caught doing something you're like, oh, well, that's not mine. Oh, well, I wasn't doing that, she was. Have you ever done that? Because you don't wanna get in trouble, right? Or what about in the heat of the moment when you're angry at somebody? Have you ever said something mean that really wasn't true? Have you ever said something like, I hate you? And, for, and you really know that you actually love that person? but you say I hate you in the moment because you're so angry and you let that lie slip out because you're just angry and you wanna hurt that person. Well, when you say things that are dishonest and mean, it hurts those around you. The good news is that the reverse is true. When you say kind, truthful words, it brings healing to others. So if you have made that mistake and you have hurt people with your words, you know what, that's okay because when we tell them, when we say kind things and we say truthful words, it can actually bring healing and it can mend that relationship. The next part says, ask your mom for a Band-Aid and a marker. So go see if you can find a Band-Aid and a marker. And I've got one here, I've got my Band-Aid and a permanent marker works best for this, but be careful not to get it on um, your clothes, all right? So grab your Band-Aid and your marker and you're gonna write truth on the Band-Aid and you're gonna wear it all day to remind yourself of the healing power of truthful words. You can put it in an obvious place or somewhere hidden. So, now if you have your um, Band-Aid, you can hit pause and go find them really quick and come back. Also, grab yourself a permanent marker. All right, so open it up, if you can. Mine's pretty big, because I wanted to be able to really see it. All right, now, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna write on it before I put it on my skin, and we're gonna write the word truth, all right? So the word truth is spelled T, T R U. H and this pen's not working the best so you might not be able to see it but it's on there all right and then it says to take it off and put it somewhere either where you can see it or where maybe it's hidden a little bit so you can wear it at school but it will remind yourself that you need to say those truthful things all right so I've got it right here my band-aid with the word truth on it all right so let's read the next part and this is gonna remind us remember every time you look at it it should remind you that, um, that there's healing power in your truthful words. So if you're telling the truth, it's bringing healing to any relationships that are mended. Now the last part says look. Look for opportunities to use kind and truthful words today that help other people. So that's your challenge today. If you're watching this at the end of the day, it's your challenge for tomorrow as well. Say those truthful and kind words to your family members, to your friend. Look for those chances where you can say, great job. That's okay, you'll do better next time. Those healing, those kind words, and those truthful words to your family and your friends so that that relationship between them is strong. All right, so stay tuned. There's worship coming right up. All right, Slam Kids, this one is super fun. I know a lot of you out there know it. It's called Take It All. I've got my helpers here, Johnny over here and Eliana over here. So wherever you are, get up and let's do this one together. Take It All. Come on, clap with us.
great. Awesome job. We should give it all to him, shouldn't we? All right, stay tuned. There's more coming up next. All right, Slam Kids, this is another worship song. It's called Shout to the Lord. So wherever you are, just worship him from your heart today. Shout to the Lord. Lord, we love you. We thank you that you're with us. Everywhere we go, everything we do, we worship you today. our comfort. Oh